And when were your children diagnosed? About three months ago. How old are your children? One is seven and one is five. How long have you and your family lived in Duchess? Five years. How are you and your family handling this ordeal? Oh, we're devastated. One moment, everything in life is normal. The next, nothing but doctor's appointments, tests, hospitalizations, medication. Oh, to see my girls suffer with pain and nausea, it just breaks my heart. And uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if we'll ever see the end of this dark tunnel. Really? Do you believe the claims that Harrison Chemical is responsible for your daughter's illnesses? Yes, I do. And, and they just don't give a damn. I believe that they poisoned my little girls. And, and they're just doing things, uh, and just doing the things of the chemical company, of um, just making a quick buck, ruining everything. And, and they just don't give a damn, and we gotta, we gotta do something to catch those bastards. And I, and I, I'm not gonna give up on it. If I have to write to Washington, I'll write to the company. I'll, we're gonna do it, because they're not getting away with this. Patrick, I thank you for your time today, and I wish you and your family well during this difficult time. Thank you very much. Sorry I'm very upset, but I just can't stand this anymore. I just want it to be known in the news, as, as we're doing right now. And that will be a message. Oh, <laughs> 
Police detectives, and we're investigating the murder of your neighbor Christine last night. Did you hear or see anything suspicious? That's awful. No, I didn't hear anything. Were you home last night? I lived down the hall. I was sound asleep. I never woke up, didn't hear anything. How could a gun shoot so quietly? Huh. All right, well, if that's the case, the uh, Killer must have used a silencer. Karen, uh, yeah. do you know if this building has surveillance cameras? Um, no. Unfortunately, this building doesn't contain surveillance cameras, so unfortunately the only evidence we have are the bullet holes. She was a lovely, wonderful person. It's dreadful. <laughs> Yes, it is terrible. Um, but we do appreciate you speaking with us today. Here, let me walk you out. I hope you catch whoever killed our neighbor. We will, ma'am. Hmm. Christine? Yeah? Remind me of her last name. Um, Lopez. Holy shit! What? Christine Lopez? Yeah, why? She was the one who wrote a front page newspaper editorial yesterday. Which one? Didn't you read the New York Times breaking news yesterday morning? Oh, nah. I didn't have time to read that paper yesterday. It was a shocking expose revealing. The public water supply pollution in the upstate town of Dutchness. Oh, okay. Fill me in. The article accused Harrison Chemical Inc. of improper waste disposal, result in multiple local cases of childhood leukemia and lymphoma. Oh God. Christine was a, a former employee of Harrison Inc. Company. Really? I had worked there for many years. Okay. Um, well, this all sounds very suspicious. So, we should go investigate that company. Um, come on, let's go. to you. Why, thank you, Mr. Harrison. 
glad you like it. Gorgeous. How long have you been up here? Oh, it's been years and I can't even remember. Now this is a view. I could sit out here all day and watch the waves crash. So beautiful up here. And you're beautiful too. I've only been working for you for two weeks. Yeah. Tell me, how many other secretaries have you brought up here? Just you. Just me. Oh. Hang on a second. Excuse me, I've got to take this. Yes, I, I, I've checked into the hotel. Yes, yes. I'm on my way to the conference now. Yes, I'm getting ready to go. Uh, flight was fine. It was fine. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye. Sorry, Sarah. Work call. Work call? It's Saturday. Yeah, well, when you see CEO of a company, the calls are coming in daily, weekends, nights. It's part of the job. Must be tough. Anything I can do to take the edge off? Oh, yeah. I need to tilt my hand more. I can't. Hi, this is George. Hi, Karen. How you doing? Oh, really? That's horrible. Y'all yeah, get ready. Okay, I'll get to Boston tomorrow morning. Maybe early afternoon. Okay. I'll talk to you soon.
Hi, this is Agent George. Oh, hi, Karen. How you doing? Yeah, I'm sorry. I heard about the investigation going on in Duchess. Yeah, what a horrible thing that happened. Yeah, all those innocent people. And animals. I'm all in. And we'll definitely get down to the bottom of this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, yeah. So, I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Have a good night.
morning. It smells delicious. Scrambled eggs. You know, yeah. after having that night with you last night, you insatiable little minx. I really worked up an appetite. Mm -hmm. You were amazing last night. Me? You are just unbelievable. I never had it so good. All these years, no one has done what you've done for me. <laughs> Same here. Hey, after breakfast, we should do it on the table. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I'd love to go through that one more time. At least one more time. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Hello, this is Harrison. What? Monday? Yes, I will. We have to go. Why, what's wrong? It's an emergency. Can you tell me what- It's an emergency. Yes, my name is Karen. I'm with the New York State Police Department. Could you please connect me to your CEO, Mr. Harrison? Uh, yes, I'll hold. Huh. Oh. Okay. Um, well, yes, I will leave him a message. Um, could you please have him call Karen at the New York State Police Department? Yes, I will leave you my phone number. It is 212-989-9000. Yes, thank you. Are you going to play? Huh? Play? Oh, i got to make this phone call. Hi, yes, uh, my name is Karen. I'm with the New York State Police Department. I'm trying to reach your company CEO, Mr. Harrison. Could you please connect me? Uh, yes, I'll hold. There you go. Play, play, play. Oh, hi. Oh. Okay. Yes, I would like to leave a message. Could you please have Mr. Harrison call Karen at the New York State Police Department? Yes, I will leave you my phone number. It is 212-989-9000. Yes, thank you. Bye. Hopefully he calls me back soon. Yes, I'll wait. Can you please have him call Karen at the New York State Police Department? 
It's urgent. Thank you. Hi, yes, um, it's Karen. I'm trying to reach Mr. Harrison, the company CEO. Yes, I'll hold. Hi, yes, this is Karen from the New York State Police Department. Could you please connect me to Mr. Harrison? Yes, this is Karen from the New York State Police Department. I'm trying to reach Mr. Harrison, the company CEO. What do you mean he's not in? Well, do you know what time he's going to be back? Yes, this is the New York State Police Department again. My name is Karen, and I'm trying to reach your company CEO, Mr. Harrison. I have been hung up on for the last time. Screw trying to get through to him through the phone. I'm going to go down there and interrogate this jerk in person. I don't care what the hell it takes. I want fucking results now. Excuse me, Mr. Harrison. Can I talk to you, please? I'm so sorry, Mr. Harrison. She walked right past my desk before I could even get her name. And whom do I have the pleasure of meeting on this special visit? Well, my name is Karen, and I'm with the New York State Police Department. We're investigating the murder of your former employee, Christine Lopez. She was murdered? Yes. Her body was found in her apartment a couple days ago. Was her absence from work not brought to your attention? She was recently let go from the company. Well, why was she fired? That's not my department. And unfortunately, I'm preparing for a very important meeting this afternoon. So, we'll have to continue this conversation at another time. Sarah, would you mind escorting our visitor out the front door, please? Yes, sir. Come this way. Okay, well, actually, if I may, please, can I ask you one last question? I apologize, but I really don't have time for this. Okay, well, does Christine's firing have anything to do with her recent editorial accusing your company of polluting a major drinking water supply? I don't know what you're talking about, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm late for this meeting as it is. Sarah, if you would please escort our guest out the front door and out of the building now and send Reichman in. Certainly, sir. Okay, well, I'll leave, but don't leave town. We may have a couple more questions for you. Yes, sir. Reichman, that woman Karen from the New York State Police Department, I need you to follow her. I want to keep you involved with everything she does. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, I'm on it. Get on it, right.
that should do it. We should have the results back by the end of this week. It's a beautiful year. Yeah. But based on its proximity, the pond probably draws from the same aquifer as the reservoir. I think we should map out the reach of this contamination. You know what? I agree. Which is why this is one of many ponds that we will be testing. Let's see if our theory holds up that the single point of all these regional contaminations proves to actually be Harrison Chemical Inc. Excuse me, Mr. Harrison. FBI Jordan here to see you. Good morning, Mr. Harrison. Asian George Jordan. What can I do for you? I would like a tour of your facilities and access to the last five years of waste disposal records. Is there a reason why I'm being questioned? We're investigating the source of contaminants found in the drinking water. The company's been totally compliant with all the health and safety regulations. We've been a model of compliance in the industry. We've been asked to subpoena. Subpoena? You said subpoena? That's right. Over the past several years, there's been an unusual epidemic of childhood cancers, thought to be the result of contaminants in the drinking water. As I've said, we've been totally compliant with all requirements. You have until Friday to turn in your records. And could you please tell me about your new chemical plans? The new chemicals, they're for industry and technology across the nation. Americans need the supply of chemicals. Are there any other questions, sir? Yes. What do you know about the murder of Christine Lopez? Horrible tragedy. I didn't know she was being stalked and then shot by some madman. Thank you for your time, Mr. Harrison. Please have all requested records ready by Friday. Okay, we'll do it. And call me Dustin. Thank you. My attorney will show you up. Did you? This one? Pete, would you come in here, please? Yeah, I heard Harrison. Pete, I just had an agent, Jordan, from the FBI in here. Very annoying. I need you to, well, you know what I need. Uh, I'll get my automatic rifle. No, no, not you. Why, why not? Pete, you're my best. I don't want anything to happen to you. What I want you to do is deploy one of your lackeys to take care of the situation. By all means, Sir Harrison. Okay. Oh, Pete, on the way out, would you give me a beer from the bar, please? Yeah, boss.
Yeah, yeah. Chief, just got attacked. I left Harrison's office and was immediately followed and attacked by a man in the park. We did some research on his identification and it turns out his employer is none other than Harrison Chemicals. Do you have all the records pertaining to this company? Yes. And they all indicate that Harrison is in the clear. Still, I'd like to scrutinize those records. It seems to me that there's a patent emerging of this company being involved in some quite serious crimes. Murder, attempted murder. Yes, although we still can't establish the identification of Christine's murderer. Right, but we we do have a suspect in, in an informer who's been tailing the suspect. Let me put you in touch with, with him. His name is Jeffrey Reichman, and also his twin brother, Pete Reichman, who is Harrison's right-hand man. Great. I'll call him right away. This trip is quick, or at least we find finally some information. So far, they have not been cooperative at, at all. Definitely not. I think they're hiding something. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far, our water samples have been pretty exclusive, showing contamination. contamination for sure. So, I uh, hoping this. I don't know. Executive. Do you remember who we're meeting? One of, one of, uh, one of his, one of them. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so hopefully that guy from Harrison Corporation will uh, tell us something. Wait. Yep. Did you hear something? Yeah, something. What was that? The fuck? <laughs> Go, I got your six.
those cupcakes got away. I'm pretty sure they're hanging something. Because they don't want to talk. Yeah. It's definitely, most definitely he's hiding something. You can tell. I mean, we barely got away from that guy back there. Jesus, that was... That was close. Too bad we didn't have body cam footage, you know? That would have been perfect evidence. That would be great. You can believe the fucking guy shot at us. I know! I mean... Sooner or later, they'll get what's coming to them. It has to be one of those Avison guys because who else is going to shoot at us? Who else? It's got to be him. Yeah. Is I don't... That... I mean, I don't think anyone's feeling threatened by us at the moment. I mean, most of our cases are closed and this is the only main one that we have. We need to get to the bottom of this. Absolutely. One way or another. Well, based off of this information and what we went through today, I think we should make a phone call. Um, I remember something on the TV about contamination and water and sick children. So, um, what was that guy's name? Um, Patrick, let me give him a call real quick. Ringing. Yeah. Hello, um, Patrick. My name is Karen and I work with the New York State Police Department. Um, I am investigating the current concerns about contamination of the reservoirs in um, your county. I recently watched the televised news report that included um, a very articulate um, interview by you. I was very moved, um, but concerned, um, especially when you discussed the recent serious health problems involving your two daughters, um, as well as your s strong suspicions that there was a causal relationship to the recently detected chemicals and the contamination of the water of the reservoirs that supply your community and your home. Um, I am working with a team of investigators with the New York State Police Department as well as the FBI to uncover the source of the contamination, um, but also to investigate its impact on the surrounding residential community, um, such as the health concerns of you, um, your family, your daughters, and other children in, in that area. Um, if you're willing, I would be very interested to hear your current thoughts and to learn how your daughters are doing at this time. Um, is this a, a good time for us to have a conversation? Officer Karen, I'm in a moment of deep despair right now. As I just came from my one of our precious daughters with my wife at the intensive care unit in the hospital. We slept in chairs all night beside our youngest daughter, who is barely even conscious now. So I just came home, I just came home just for a bit, and then I have to get right back to join my, my family in the hospital, because they need me there. And I'm just doing the usual stuff. And uh, 
So, but both of my daughters were diagnosed with childhood leukemia last year. And both of them have been through intense treatments and uh, testing. It just goes on and on. They had it all. And yeah, and, uh, my older daughter seems to be responding to the, to, the, uh, to the treatments. Yeah, she's at least at the present moment with the, uh, with the course of chemotherapy. And then, um, and then uh, I had to turn around and um, see my youngest daughter just went into a relapse. And now she seems to be getting worse. You know, she had last year. It was, no, it was. Um, it was. Yeah, it was most recently that that it was her that had the bone marrow transplant, and it seems to be failing. Uh, I can't stand it. It. Uh, and I'm so afraid. Me and my wife are, are just terrified that uh, that the sweet girl will be dying. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I just can't see how how we can live without her. I just can't see it in the future. We have no future. The girl is so sick, and the other one, I don't know. I don't know if she'll make it either. Oh, my dear Patrick, my heart goes out to you. Um, but I do deeply uh, appreciate the time that you have taken to share all of this information with me. Uh, I will pray for your daughter and I hope that the hospital can save her. Um, please let me know if there is anything that I can do um, either for you or your family at this time. Um, Karen, please, whatever you do, just uh, get the murdering bastards who contaminated the, our reservoir. I mean it, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything. Yeah, thanks. Call anytime. Bye. Oh. This is heartbreaking. ICU, chemotherapy, possibly death. I mean, we need to get these guys so that this family and any other family that has been hurt in such a way can get justice for their children. I mean, we need to save their children. We need to get them. For yeah. sure. Uh. Pete, the head of my security, Ian, said that state cop Karen has been collecting water samples from the reservoir. If that annoying fur line takes one more sample of the tainted water, I'll shoot her in the head. Excellent. You do that and no one will be wiser. Without Karen and her team, no one will find out the plans for our new chemicals. Yeah, boss. That's none of your damn business. It's on a need-to-know basis and way above your pay grade. Okay. Well, if that's how it's going to be, well, then maybe you shouldn't call me sweetheart anymore. Sarah, you want me to fire you? You go ahead and fire me. I'm sure the board would love to know why I was fired. Oh, and I'll find a younger boyfriend. I'll take away everything I've given you. You have more to lose than I ever will. Loser. Pertinent little bitch! Loser! Alright, 
So, Monday then? Yeah, that's right. Call him and told him I'll be at his office Monday morning. Huh. Well, I hope you get something out of him because I got nothing. That guy couldn't get me out of his office fast enough. Harrison is definitely hiding something and not just improper waste disposal. What do you mean? The FBI got word he's acquiring new chemicals that could cause some serious damage. Really? Wow. There's more to that company than I could have ever imagined. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Good. Cheers to that. Ooh, FBI director! Karen, I understand you've created a team of experts, including our own FBI agent, George, to expose the water contamination scandal that right now is pointing to Harrison Chemical Incorporated. I want to discuss the findings of your recent water tests. Um, yes, of course. Um, so recently, um, all of the test results we found so far have been highly contaminated and they have all implied a single point source. Um, we haven't finished all of the evaluations for all the surrounding water areas, um, but what we have found, once again, has been highly carcinogenic and the kicker, it has been scientifically linked to the childhood cancers that have recently emerged in the town of Duchess. Uh, oh, Karen, I want to commend you on organizing this investigation and putting together a co cohesive team of experts including NYPD, state police, FBI, all working on this. Thank you so much, sir. Um, I will continue to map out all of the surrounding water supplies, and I will then go to the reservoir to figure out the extent of the contamination and hopefully figure out whether there's potential radioactivity or even as far as chemical warfare. That's excellent. I think it's time we bring Mr. Harrison in for questioning. Hello, this is Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. This is Agent George Jordan with the FBI investigating Harrison Chemical for improper waste disposal and the suspicious murder of a former Harrison employee turned whistleblower. I understand your brother works closely with Harrison. My twin brother is a dangerous lunatic. He has been on multiple watch lists for serious crimes, but has managed to evade law enforcement. Circumstances force me to make it my personal mission to stop his chain of destruction. What do you know so far? He's been Harrison's secret criminal right-hand man for several years. Harrison is a two-sided, powerful CEO who, who ruthlessly blocked obstruction to his plans by any means possible. My brother serves to execute Harrison's evil plans to eliminate anyone who stands in his way. Including Christine Lopez? That is my impression, and I'm happy to provide you with any other information that will help your investigation. Thank you, Jeffrey. Let's plan to keep in touch for the coming weeks. All right, man. That state cop, Karen, is staying at a hotel near the Duchess Reservoir. We're worried that she may be expanding her samples to include chemicals for warfare. They're getting close to discovering our plans for our secret project. What shall we do about that? Go there quietly, kill her and the other authorities. Could be suicide by cops, but that's where we are now. Yeah, I heard
good to go. We got the samples. Yeah. Don't you? Nine. New York City's gonna lose one of its finest. I'm talking about you. Good evening, my dear Karen. Sorry to have to bring you in here like this. And what exactly is your problem, Mr. Dustin Harrison? I mean, you have your Mafia goon squad ambush me and my partners, and then you have this Nazi guy Shanghai me. Uh-uh, you'll learn the hard way when I start striking you. Nine-nine, Pete, stand down. <laughs> you do realize that all the authorities are looking for me, right? Who's gonna find you here? This place is as secure as Fort Knox. You see that? She's playing hard to get. Come on, Pete, let's go. Let's leave Karen here alone to think about her future. According to our tracker, Karen is inside Harrison Chemical Plant. I hope she's okay. Let's go get her. Call Jeffrey and tell him to meet us at the plant. All right. Hello, Jeffrey. Yeah, Agent George. Yeah, can you come meet us at the plant? Stop. You don't have to do this. Think about while you're ahead. 
You mean bullets building up? Yeah. Oh you guys got it! Let's go! Just remember, like they say on all the cop shows, you have the right to remain silent. And for me, that means keep your mouth shut. And that's what I'm paying you all this money for? Just keep it shut. <sighs> better start thinking about another attorney. You better get me through this. With what I know, I'll get you through it. Yeah, you better. Oh, my God.